We are getting creative today with who knows what, but let's open this up. <laughs> Ooh, okay. I just love this stuff. <laughs> it might be my favorite part of like mystery boxes. Anybody else? All right. What is this? Pigment liners. Ooh, okay. Hmm. What is this? This is a blender by Koei Noor. Koei Noor? Koei Noor. Sure. Polycolor pencil. Hmm. Okay. What is this? Tri tone pencils. These are multi. Oh. What? Y'all, do you see the tips in these things? There is some definite multicolor stuff happening. That is sweet. So each pencil here has these colors in it. Wow. Okay, I think I've seen these somewhere actually. I don't know where I saw them, but uh, yeah. Actually, well, I know some other YouTubers have opened this box and done videos on it, but I'm talking about, I think I saw them somewhere else, like Instagram or something. I didn't watch anybody else's videos because I wanted to be surprised, but I did see those pencils in people's thumbnails. <laughs> oh, 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 most exciting part of the box. I got a different color piece of paper. Mm, yes, love it. Ooh, what's this? A two hole sharpener. Well, you can never go wrong with a pencil sharpener, so I'm all about that. Ooh, we have some Bristol paper in here. Hmm, Strathmore Bristol paper. Okay, well, I have lots of fun paper to play with <laughs> later in life. This is by Strathmore. It's got 15 sheets. This is a full size paper thing, which is nice. And it is smooth Bristol paper. That, that'll be good for colored pencils. I honestly, um, I think I'm the only person who doesn't really like Strathmore's watercolor paper that much. Eh? Is it just me? I don't know. Probably gonna start a war in the comments over that one. <laughs> Let's open all of our stuff. So this is just like any regular pencil sharpener. Okay, I'm, ooh, these are good fine liners. They're really thin ones which is my cup of tea. I don't like when fine liners are really thick because, I don't know, it's just not as consistent with my style. So I'm excited to try these thinner ones. Oh, and they're by Art Alternatives. I really like this brand. Um, I like their wooden canvases, so. This one is really pretty. Oh. I tried pencils really similar to this once. It was like a rainbow pencil and it was really cool. So it's neat that there's like different color schemey pencils. I don't know. I guess it came with two blenders. I wonder why they gave us two. One is a poly color and one is a tritone blender. Let's see the prompt list. This is the last week of September, so coffee. Wow, these are cute prompts. I really wish I would have done this on the third week of September. Cozy, that's what I'm feeling today. It's like <laughs> a rainy fall day outside. Hmm. Well, well, well. I guess we'll, we'll just roll with what we want. This isn't super flexible, so I think this is like one of those you gotta tear it out to use it kinds of books. Oh, should I do like a swatching thing first? Should I swatch? I don't know. I was just gonna hop into it. Okay, blender, predictable. You can't see it, cause it's a blender. I don't know why, I <laughs> just swatch that one for you. Okay, I'm curious about these markers. <gasps> oh, look at that fine tip. What a beaut. Okay, you can focus, like, focus. Thank you. I'm always worried about tips like this breaking easily <laughs> because they do. But I don't know, we'll find out for this. Hmm, these are really sturdy, actually. 
I think it's my Micron ones. They break so easily. It irritates me. So I stopped using them. Okay. These have good flow. Let's see. Let's let's find out what's going on here. Look at this baby up close. Like wow, dude. Wow. Well, these are kind of cool. <laughs> I guess we'll See how I feel about them when I'm shading. There's some just regular lines. Okay, this one isn't as exciting, but different shades of orange. Okay, this one. We don't have to swatch all of these. Oh, this one's cool. It's like pink, pink, red, and yellow. Mm, look at that baby. How can you resist? Ooh, I like this one. <laughs> it reminds me of a fruit roll up. You know, I am curious how these erase because. Oh, ho, ho, that's the nada, nada lifting up. Uh -uh. Nope, all right. I'm using a sketching pencil. We need that. We need that. <laughs> Maybe I give her more of an oval face. There we go. Her mouth can be there. Eyes here. Okay. I've been in a huge mood to draw people lately, <laughs> so this is exciting. Once I, hmm, should she be sipping the coffee maybe? Once I plan out the composition, I will, I'll start using these pencils. Make sure my proportions are good. I've been practicing my proportions lately, guys, because it's something I want to be better at, so. Okay, she's just gonna be holding it up like you know how you just enjoy the warmth before you sip it and it's just like there? I know, such a cliche, but I live for that moment. <laughs> Let's see, there is a skin tone-ish color that I'm gonna try using. It's got some brown and I can use it for the hair actually. So that's what I'm doing, girl, yes. I just switched over to the eyes because <laughs> they sounded more fun right now. These pencils are a little unpredictable like with what is going to happen, but it's kind of cool because it still blends. The colors are related enough that there's like a gradient that connects them and goes between them. So I don't know, it's neat that it works that way. It's just like, yeah, I mean, I guess I thought it would be harder to get used to, but like so far, Blending the skin, it hasn't been like a headache or anything. It's more like just fascinating to watch like what in the world is coming out of the pencil. <laughs> like what is, what is coming next? I want to know. I do kind of want to give her like rosy cheeks and I'm nervous about that. So let's, let's just work on the nose first. All right, that's a little more yellow than I wanted. I've, um, I've been practicing drawing people a lot more lately, just because anatomically I want to improve. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just experimenting right now. And uh, this is just a fun way to go about experimenting. This would be really interesting, like drawing a moth, <laughs> you know? The blue is pretty subtle, like, I don't know. I don't see much difference. I feel like some of these pencils, you can see a very, very um, contrasting difference, even though it like still blends together. But the blue, I don't notice a whole lot. I think these are like uh, for fun. They're really fun to use. But I think if I were to do like a full on piece of art, this probably wouldn't be my choice just because 
I don't have as much control over color. They all remind me of fruit roll-ups, guys. All of them. I really want a fruit roll-up now. My 27-year-old self can't handle this. I need one. Wow, I don't know when this stopped recording because I was so into this. <laughs> so apologies if you didn't see most of the hair being drawn. I should have looked up. And paid attention to my camera. But this is so fun. The hair is my favorite part. It has nothing to do with the coffee prompt. I kind of wanted to mostly just do what I wanted. <laughs> That's why the coffee is like barely the focus here. Okay, my favorite pencil is definitely this like candy corn themed one. I'm an earthy toned kind of person. I just really like that in my artwork. So this one is really fun. Ah, yes. I love how like her eyes are kind of tiny in a really cute way. And I think it's perfect for like the cold weathered kind of thing here going on. One thing I think I'm really into is showing like a really big upper eyelid. I just think it's so cute lately. I'm gonna shade the nose a little more and then bring in some other stuff. This one doesn't have like any variation really to it. Um, it's called the rainforest color. Hmm. Interesting. I want you guys to decide what flavor her coffee drink is in the comments. Let me know what she would be drinking. Since our prompt is coffee, ooh, one eye looks a lot different than the other. We need to fix that. <laughs> this eyelid is like, I'm having an allergic reaction. And this one is like, hey, what's up? Okay, let's fix this. There we go. Now for her sweater, let's do some sort of stripes. Oh, this is so fun. It kind of like blends into orange. Okay, I'm super into like color block sweaters right now. So I think I'm gonna do different colored stripes on the other part of the sweater. I didn't use these. Okay, I will be honest about my thoughts on the stuff in this box. I love these fine liners. They are very like sturdy and great and everything. And I loved these pencils. But I don't think fine liners and colored pencils should go in the same box. I just don't think they work like that great together. That's my critique on this. I think it would have been cool maybe for something else to be in the box other than the fine liners. I added some contrast with this though. I think I would have liked to see a different kind of colored pencil in the box with this that I could have used in conjunction with it. Because I, I just don't think, I personally don't like using fine liners with colored pencils. So that's my take. Oh, wait, I have not tried to use the blender yet. Let's, let's do that. Oh yeah, I was doing a leaf over here and I completely forgot. Jumping all around today. That's okay. We're just doodling and having fun. I'm not doing like a huge, <laughs> serious project. I hope you guys like these sketch with me kinds of videos. I really enjoy them, like the live voiceover 
you can hear the pencil on the paper kind of thing. Um, I think it feels more relatable, like, rather than just doing a voiceover over top of stuff, I think this just feels more like I'm talking with you guys, and I get so excited to see your comments to, like, questions that I ask you, and it's just really fun, so. I hope you're also doodling along. If you are, let me know what you're making. Okay, this leaf was really fun. <laughs> so yeah, she is sipping her coffee, and then I doodled a little leaf. These pencils are cool. So my review on them is I love the color choices that they chose, like the combinations. They are really good. I wish purple would be included though. Like there's no purple. And I think we could use some purple in this, uh, this set. So my thoughts, I want purple. And my other thoughts, I think I just prefer these for like doodles and sketching. I don't think I would use them for like a full blown huge project. And my thoughts on the blender, I really like this because it bumps up the contrast. So if you like a lot of contrast, yeah, definitely like the blender. And again, I think they should have chosen something other than the fine liners to be in this box. So um, I would have liked to see colored pencils. But overall, this was a fun box. I didn't mess with the fine liners too much because I was distracted by these really cool pencils. Let's be real. I really like um, these boxes because they come with like the full size things, like a full size sketchbook and whatnot. And I'm not really like adventurous with choosing paper. I'm like kind of scared to. So I do really like that they include a full size paper thing that I can keep using and um, I don't have to like look up a bunch of stuff. <laughs> they just surprise me with paper. This is my doodle up close. Oh, doesn't this get you excited just to be cozy this fall and winter? Yes, for me, absolutely. If you want to see me test more art supplies, you can click this playlist that will pop up on the screen. And if you want to do more like sketch with me's or just get drawing ideas, I will put some links in the description to some videos that I love and recommend. So yeah, have a wonderful day. Bye guys.